Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is John Hammond and I'm still showing off some of the junior CTF uh, capture the flag game that went on uh, this, this past weekend. So this next challenge I wanted to showcase for you is called Stop Thief. It was uh, supposedly a trivial recon but uh, still 500 points so not too many people solved it. Um, all credit and kudos really goes to a, a really cool friend of mine that I met while I was playing the game that kind of helped drag me through this this challenge. I uh, admittedly, uh, like a thousand percent, would not have been able to solve this challenge without his help. Um, so, extreme shout out and thanks to, to that individual. Uh, regardless, I want to showcase and demonstrate what the challenge is and consisted of. It was a terrible challenge, really, really shitty, <laughs> a whole lot of guessing, and it's all in Russian, which I do not know. Uh, so, okay. The uh, challenge problem here is, is Wendy someone has stolen Grunkle's Xerox. I think I know who could do it, Dipper. Really, look, I found this photo. Uh, I mentioned something suspicious about Nefada. to look it up on VK, and now everything is absolutely obvious. Tell me who it is. Try to find out yourself, Dipper. So here's the image, which I'm assuming this X is the Xerox logo they're referring to. Someone has stolen the Xerox. Um, and they reference VK in the challenge description, which... Um, I don't know if you had known or not known about before. Uh, it is the largest European online social networking service, which I, apparently is like the equivalent of, our, of, uh, of Facebook. So you can go to it. And I ended up creating a web uh, an account. <laughs> so I am logged in because I wanted to be able to help search and find and solve this challenge. So I ended up creating an account for it. Um, but what you do here. <laughs> is there's some things you can do to actually translate this this Russian text out of the image if if you wanted to because um obviously you can't copy and paste this because it's an image so you'd have to type it out but you don't have a Russian keyboard so you can use like some tools uh Russian keyboard I think keyboard yeah yeah Russian online Russian keyboard and that could work for you if you want to type things out. You could pump them into Google Translate and stuff like that. Um, I actually have some of those files still here, I think. So I'll showcase what I have. Cyber write up CD online junior CD stop thief. Um, so the sign, I had typed it out, typed out each part of it that was visible. And uh, when you translate this, it is photocopy red tower per red 10, which uh, apparently is an address. It's, it's, it's a location. Um, and there's, there's, a, there's a greater hint with this, too, if you actually download this image. So let's save this image in our juniors page, our folder. And if you check this out, exif tool, you look at the metadata for that image, and there is actually a GPS position and latitude and longitude in here. Um, so if you wanted to, what you could do is you could look for this GPS position in like Google Maps or Google Earth or Google Street View. Um, so I ended up actually doing that. I took this location, this GPS location, I also wanted to convert it to like the degree symbol so I could actually have a real string that Google Maps would probably be able to find and look through. So I copied and pasted the degrees symbol because <laughs> I don't know the alt key code for it. And then we have this like little location, this GPS coordinates, latitude and longitude coordinates. And you can you can find it. You can search Google Maps for this, and it will bring you not to Salem, Connecticut. It will instead, okay, yeah, it is east. It is east, my bad, not not west. It will bring you to 155, whatever the street is, Lennon Avenue. What 155 Lennon Avenue. I don't know if you can read that pretty clear right here, but this house is 155 Lennon Avenue. <laughs> uh, where, though? I actually try to click on some other things to determine... Okay, where am I? I am in Tomsk, Russia, and Lenin Avenue, 155 there. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's the location. 
again, you can look at this in Street View if you wanted to, and you literally get an image of the house, and you can see the the sign on there. You can see this Xerox sign on the house if you wanted to. But it's a picture of that 155 Lennon Avenue. So what you end up doing is now that you have this information, and apparently if you look this up on VK, you can find news. Like You can see if someone has actually stolen something. You can look in the news section of it. And this is completely obscure, and again, a lot of guessing that I, again, would not have been able to figure out without some uh, awesome individual's help. So kudos goes to him. All credit for this video goes to that individual. But here's what we do. In VK, you can search from news... And you should be able to search by news and I'm trying to get more properties out of this. Okay, I think uh, if you go to search it should give you some search parameters you can expand and you can look by location. Um, so you can specify that 155 Lenin Ave in Tomsk, uh, Russia. And ideally we'll be able to find it. Um, I honestly even just like stole one of the addresses that I got out of... Google Maps, and then I tried to work with it there and zoom in on that location because you want to have the cursor where it actually is. <laughs> so it looks like it's at a fine place. If you go into the satellite, um, you could like move around the actual location. Zoom in a bit more again. I actually ended up dragging this and like zooming out to a point where I could see what the map looked like. And if I change the map, you can get the house numbers. So I knew I needed to be further up to get 155 right here. So I just left it there. And that matches um, what I see in Google Maps in 120 right across the street. 155 right here and 120 on the other side. So I know I'm in the right place. So I search nearby posts for this and I get a bunch of things. And what I ended up doing was I actually just um, looked at the location that these pictures are from because apparently you can like look and search for more images or more pictures from that location. So I tried to show more pictures and we see in our photos nearby, oh, there are some of the images and I click on some of these to take a look at them. Um, and I see it's from this account laughing my ass off LMFAO. So I, I click on that guy to see if it brings me to anything interesting. Um, not particularly that might have been someone's random account. There's nothing interesting here. There's no other information other than that image. But there are other images that I saw, right? You can click on more of these, and you get Pavel Volkovs, which is another individual we can look at. Uh, he has a lot of photos, so maybe not for the purpose of the CTF, whatever. Um, are there any more? Click on some of these other ones. Pavel again, Pavel again. Pavel again. All Pavel. What the heck? So we'll scroll down to see if there are any more. I keep showing more pictures because at this point, you're, I'm pretty desperate. I'm hoping to see like, oh, okay, more pictures. More pictures of the sign. Again, Pavel. I see his username at the top right here. Again, LMAO. Again, Pavel. Again, Pavel, and again, Pavel. What the heck? Is there any more? I keep looking for more pictures in this area. More signs. Pavel, 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 Pavel. And again, Pavel. And 
And this is actually the solution, by the way, so, like, that's why I'm still continually looking through here. I don't know why I keep seeing Pavel's posts, but not the ones that I'm looking for, though. Am I going through, the, am I looking through the same pictures over and over again right now? I'm pretty sure VK is just, like, showing me the same pictures again. <laughs> oh, hey! You see some Gravity Falls stuff. And that is curious. So I go to this individual's Dipper, as that's Ebony. And, oh, he has a picture of the sign as well. And there's some Russian text here. So what I did is I Google Translate this. And it says, you are on the right track. Okay, awesome. So this individual, this this page, their username, jam underscore dipper, is what the flag is. You submit jam underscore dipper as the flag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess the, it, the, the challenge prompt does say, tell me who is it. So I guess you would submit the username um, if that's the interpretation you ended up having. But I wish it were something a bit more clear, like, oh, this is the flag, or you found me, here's the flag, whatever. Um, but no. <laughs> the you are on the right track is a, all you end up getting um, with the images and some Gravity Falls pictures. So jam underscore dipper is what you submit, and you get 500 points for that. But holy crap, uh, I, I spent way too many hours on this um, with the guessing and the looking around in the Google Street View and trying to explore that... that um, address and then again just looking through random pictures of other individuals um <laughs> on vk <laughs> so uh that's it um again kudos to an individual for helping me get this challenge because uh, what the heck this would never have been something that i would have been able to have gotten on my own uh not knowing russian and not knowing vk and not knowing what the heck do i do with this picture uh so okay <laughs> that's that's that. That's how you solve the stop thief challenge for uh, uh, junior CTF. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. <laughs> um, uh, it's really it currently, uh, and I'll show you uh, hopefully a little bit more some other challenges and demonstrate and showcase those in a later video. So see you then.